Number 7. This is attractively toned 1954S Roosevelt dime. The finest 1954S Roosevelt dimes are in MS68 full bands. PCGS lists just 5 coins this fine. This PCGS coin showcases a very nice mint luster cast and cocktail of various hues, accompanied with light circular rainbow toning around the rims. The strike is sharp and I appeal is exceptional. It was sold for $1,560 on October 2, 2023. Number 6. Here is vividly toned 1943 D. Jefferson nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Metal composition of this wartime 5 cent piece is 56% copper, 35% silver and 9% manganese. Toning often occurs due to chemical reactions between the silver in the coin and substances in the environment. Silver reacts with sulfur compounds, which are present in the atmosphere, to form silver sulfide. This compound can manifest as various colors, including shades of brown, gray, blue, purple, or even rainbow-like hues, depending on the specific conditions. This toned specimen display mostly contact-free surfaces with fully struck Monticello steps on the backside. It ended up selling for $1,320. Number 5. This is something extraordinary. 2002 W Proof Silver Eagle with Mesmerizing Eye Appeal. Graded as PR67 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Surfaces of the both sides are graced by neon blue, violet tones. Metal composition of alloy is 99.9% .9 silver. This West Point masterpiece ended up selling for $1,200 on October 2, 2023. Number 4. Here is 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as AU53 by NGC. According to Heritage the 1922 No D is a challenging coin to locate in about uncirculated grades. The vast majority of known pieces are in low grades and few coins exist in mint state. The obverse is diagnostically mushy except for the final two in the date. The reverse is extra sharp. Glossy medium brown surfaces offer strong eye appeal. It was sold for $3,600. Number 3. This is 1965 Kennedy Half Dollar from Special Mint Set. Otherwise known as SMS Half. Graded as SP67 by PCGS. The 1965 is the scarcest of the three Special Mint Set Kennedy Halves in deep cameo strike quality. Around 50 submissions are categorized as such at PCGS, and less than two dozens of Tom are in this lofty superb gem grade. Brilliant, starkly contrasted cameo surface characterize this example. The strike is sharp, and the glimmering mirrors are pristine. It fetched a sum of $3,720. Number 2. Here is 1932 Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. The Washington Quarter was first issued to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. It was the first design change for U.S. coins since 1916. It was somewhat of a novelty at the time of issue. However, 1932 was the depth of the Great Depression so not a lot of uncirculated examples were initially saved. The coin was desirable nonetheless and within a few years it was much hoarded. According to David Hall, most of the coins that were saved were sliders, i.e. coins that had seen a little circulation and would grade AU58 or so today. True Gem MS65 or better 1932 Philadelphia quarters are actually fairly rare. In MS67 this is an extremely rare coin. This specimen was sold for $6,600 on October 2, 2023. Number 1. And here is 1944 Lincoln cent struck on a zinc-coated steel planchet. Graded as AU55 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, while the inclusion of even a single 1944 steel cent would be the sign of a significant numismatic auction, we are pleased to be offering multiple examples of the Philadelphia Mint Error, as well as examples of the even rarer Denver and San Francisco Mint Errors, in our current sale of the John Whitney Walter Collection. This is the second Philadelphia Mint example in the Walter Collection, and it is a generally steel-gray coin with most design elements boldly defined. Isolated softness of detail is noted for the centers and here and there around the peripheries. There are no marks of consequence, although we do note speckles of russet color that are associated with light carbon deposits. It was sold for $21,600. Thanks for watching this episode till the end. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons below this video. And comment if you have such rare coins. Stay well.